This is Marilyn Shirley. I'm here to talk to you about public transit. The TTC is so much a part of our everyday life in Toronto that we take it for granted. But what if it just vanished one day? What would life in the city be like? And what would it cost us as individuals and as a city? The economic, medical, environmental, and social costs total millions of dollars every day and billions every year. Let's see how. Over a million people use the TTC every day to get to and from work. What if all these people suddenly had to find another way to get to work? An estimated 50% of riders would switch to driving. The additional time travel cost would come to about $3.5 billion annually. Where are we going to put all those new cars? Over 178,000 each day. We'd need new highways for sure. We would need the equivalent of eight new lanes on the Don Valley Parkway. The cost? Half a billion dollars just to build them and millions every year to maintain them. Then there's parking. A parking facility large enough to accommodate the cars would stretch over three times the height of the CN Tower. Since that's unrealistic, hundreds of hectares of urban space, bigger than any park in Toronto, would have to go to parking. That's an additional long-term cost of over $400 million. Jobs would be lost, and local business revenues would suffer. Congestion would skyrocket, adding millions to the cost of freight around Toronto. No transit means more pollution, adding almost $24 million to the price tag of a transit shutdown, just in the cost of emissions into our air, soil, and water. If transit was gone, There would be more people hospitalized with asthma, more people dying from smog-related illness, and more days lost from work due to illness. Toronto Public Health would put these additional costs at about $300 million annually. More traffic means more car crashes at a cost of over $30 million annually. Cars are also expensive to maintain and operate, much more expensive than transit. The Canadian Automobile Association estimates that it costs about 50 cents per kilometer just to operate a car. At an average of 18,000 kilometers per year, that's over $9,000 per vehicle each year. So our total bill for losing transit comes to almost $12 billion. That's nearly 50% more than the City of Toronto's entire annual budget. We had to leave out a lot of costs because of lack of data or because they are impossible to measure, such as the loss of our urban green space. But these costs are real. So even though we have identified billions of dollars in annual cost to Toronto if the TTC disappeared, this is just the beginning. Toronto without the TTC? We just couldn't afford it. Live longer, breathe easier, save money, help the planet. What could be better? Hi, this is Bob Kinnear, President of the Transit Workers Local 113. You've heard from Marilyn Shirley that the TPC is worth at least $12 billion a year to Toronto. That's a pretty dramatic fact. 
But remember, it's not the TTC vehicles and tracks that provide all these benefits. Without the thousands of men and women who operate and maintain these buses, streetcars and subway trains, they would be worthless. It's our members who make the TTC work. They've been moving Toronto for over a hundred years now. We're proud of the great work they do. And we're very proud that each of them is worth a million.